Hi, this is Chantal Girardi and welcome to Do It Yourself Facebook Marketing. So today I'd like to talk to you about Facebook Lives and video marketing. Now Facebook Lives may not be for everyone, but we do know that social media does favor going live and it does favor video marketing. Why? Because we live in a world right now where people like to watch what it is that you do. So um, now I do want to mention that Facebook Lives can make or break your business. If you do Facebook Lives and you haven't strategically thought about what you're hoping to achieve and what your attention is, you can actually bore people or make people lose interest in what it is that you're doing. And then they won't actually click into your content further. So there is a way to do Facebook Lives if you choose to do it um, and to do it um, and get at least a result from it. So firstly, as I said before, it may not be for everyone and that's okay. As you gain your confidence on, fa on Facebook, you may wish to start exploring it and it can become part of your content strategy. Um, so I'm gonna go through some ways to get Facebook Lives working for your business. Um, once again, the first thing you wanna do is think about why you are doing Facebook Lives. What is your intention? Is it to get credibility? Is it to show your expertise? Is it to build a relationship? Uh, so what is your intention that you're hoping to achieve? That's number one. Number two is who's your ideal client and when are they available on Facebook to actually watch that live? Because you're go if you're going live at four o'clock in the morning and people are sleeping, well, they're probably not going to see your content. So you do want to also acknowledge or think about who exactly your ideal client is and when they're going to be available on Facebook to actually watch that live. Now, the other thing is, is that we need to point people in the direction of those lives. So in order to get the views that you want, you need to point people in that direction. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can do that. So I'm just gonna screen share for you over here and show you one of the ways that I go about doing this. Okay, so on your Facebook page, the first thing that I do is I create an event. I create an event on Facebook and we have discussed this in previous model, uh, modules. So for example, here is an event that I've got coming up. So in the event, and you can see this is, this is actually probably about a month away. So I've got four weeks to draw attention and point people in the direction of this live, okay? So people can know. So over here, it tells it clearly that it's gonna be live, it's gonna be on my page, who the guest is going to be. Um, and I've set it up over here, it's a free event. Um, and in the lead up to it, I'll let people know what the event is about and what I'm going to be talking about. So for this particular one, I'm featuring a business owner and I'm showing how they get results in their business. Now, what I will do is uh, obviously, as I mentioned before, we will invite people, we'll share it um, and we'll put it in front of our ideal clients on Facebook and let them know that it's coming up and when it's going to be and remind them that it's going to be live on the page. The other thing I will do is I will also send it out to my email database so that business owners can um, be notified that it is coming up. Now you do need to make people aware of it and you do want to try and get them to click going to the Facebook event uh, so that way they can get a reminder because as you add content into the discussion below, those who've clicked interested or going will actually get a notification. So you can go, a reminder, I'm going live tomorrow, a reminder, in an hour, I'm going live. So what you want to do is collect those lives, uh, collect, collect those goings and those interested to those events um, and keep sending people to the event to let them know that it's coming up. Um, all right, so then what I'd like to do is, okay. So then I like to do is obviously you want to evoke curiosity. So it's the same, the same philosophy as with regards to Facebook posts. Okay. You want to evoke curiosity that stops your ideal client from scrolling, identifies and connects with them with their pain point, and then offers them a solution. So for example, for that one, I'm saying, are you a business owner uh, who's struggling to get Facebook to work for your business? Um, that's okay. We've all been there. Um, check this out. Hopefully we can give you some tips as to how you can um, improve your Facebook marketing. This is how this business owner has been doing it in his business. So come and learn from a business owner who's now getting results. So people go, yep, that's me. I'll click going to the event um, so that I can remember that it's on that day and I can be live. Now it's okay if you can't be live on that day. That's okay too. All right. So what you do then is on the day, Let's just go here to the post. I'll just show you. So on your laptop, obviously, there's the live button over here. And once you push that live button, you click the three dots. Oh. Hold on, here we go. Click the live over here. 
Oh, sorry. That's right. You can only do it in Google. So <laughs> there we go. So when you're in Google Chrome, uh, unless you've set it up, your Google Chrome, it'll actually allow you to go live. So I'm just going to screen share again. Sorry. And we're going to go back and try that again. It's not always uh, fail proof. And now it's just not listening to me. That's okay. You might have to just do that again. That's okay. Yeah, so one of the things we want to do then is we want to make sure that we have a catchy headline in our content. We want to have a catchy headline to let people know what the event is. We want to identify with our ideal clients online uh, and we want to point people in the direction of the live through that Facebook event. Now you can go live on your phone. I'll actually show you over here. Remembering to always look at the screen where the little hole is up at the top over there. In the old days, what I used to do is have a post-it, which I used to stick on my phone over here, so that when I'm actually looking at that, when I'm actually looking at here, I've got my headline, uh, I've got my three points, and then I've got my call to action, which is important. Okay, so on your laptop over here, you may wish to, st to stick the post-it, again, underneath the camera, so that you're looking at the camera, and that you can just stay on task with regards to the headline, your three tips, um, and then your call to action at the bottom. Remember, you have to have a call to action. Also remembering that the content leading people into the live is vitally important because some people are at work or they're busy and they don't know whether or not they should click into that live. So you want it to grab their attention. So what we'll do is we'll go into some previous lives over here and I'll just show you. So for example, this Facebook live over here that I did um, at an expo, you can have a look at the headline. All right, so you can have a look over here. Um, so the headline for that one was grab and tag me. Everyone wins a prize plus 33% of Expo special. So come visit us at our emoji balloon stand, Brisbane West Small Brisbane Expo until 4 p.m. And this was me notifying people that I'm at an expo and what it is that, I'll, that I'm doing, drawing attention to it. So remember that that headline is going to compel them to click into that live then and then to have a look. So live should be about anything from three to sort of five minutes long, unless you're doing a training video. If you're doing a training video, then you may wish for it to be a little bit longer. Um, so for example, these show and tell ones that I've done, you know, they've been anything from 15 to 20 minutes uh, training videos, uh, but there are actual training videos, as I said. So, um, so with your Facebook Lives, you want to make sure that you've got a catchy headline that's going to stock your ideal client, that you stay on task with regards to what it is that you're talking about. Now, when those Facebook Lives are finished, you can actually go into your videos tab um, on your Facebook page. Now, remember, you can set up those tabs uh, on, your, on the left-hand side. You can set those up by going into your settings up at the top. Okay, so if you scroll down over here now, you can see that with your videos, you can actually set up uh, a playlist and you can actually set up categories. So I've divided mine into business tips, testimonials, um, my shows, um, and basically, if you have a look here, so people can go in here. So here's some free Facebook marketing tips are there as well. So people can basically uh, go in and all the videos have been categorized into certain sections, which is pretty cool. Now, once you've done those Facebook lives, you don't stop there, okay? Remember, we spoke about pointing people to those lives. So some people may not actually be available at that time for the live. So you can share that live. You can also download it. So what I do is I download that Facebook live and I save it into my YouTube channel, okay? Because that way, I have that Facebook live forever and it can become part of my content or repurposing my content at a later stage. I can send it out in a newsletter and let people know to go and check the lives. Did you miss that training? Don't worry, it's on the page and you can direct them to that live so your views are actually going up. Okay, so either your views are going to go up on your YouTube channel or your views are going to go up on the Facebook live that you have as well. Um, and then, for example, if it's, say it was a top tip that you were sharing, within the Facebook groups, they have, a, um, they have a call out and say, we're looking for some of your top tips as business owners. You can now take that live and send it to them as well. You can also use your Facebook lives as part of your uh, credibility with regards to speaking at events. So for example, if somebody says, I'm looking for a presenter at a networking group, or I'm looking for a presenter to chat at a, at a, um, 
at a speaking event, you can send your Facebook Live through as well. It gives you credibility for that if you actually don't have any um, live videos of you actually training. So the way I do, uh, another way that I do it is by doing my program, which is my show and tell. And I do this through Zoom. So I'm still busy testing it out at the moment because there is a little bit of a delay um, between going from Zoom and onto live. So part of that strategy is, you can have a look over there. I, you can click down below and you can view it in, in high definition as well. But this particular one over here is me interviewing someone. Now, a lot of people may choose to do a Facebook Live and then invite that person onto the Facebook Live so that they can interview them that way. Um, however, sometimes that doesn't work because remember, Facebook's not fail-proof. So hopefully by the time you're doing your course, it is actually working for you. Um, but what I choose to use is Zoom. So I pay, for pay additional for Zoom. And in that, I'm having a Zoom meeting. And from that Zoom meeting, it directly uploads from Zoom uploads directly as a live onto my Facebook page. Um, now, why I like that is because I sound, found the sound quality is better. And once again, I've got a good recording that I can actually use afterwards to send out. So I've got the Facebook live, but I've also got the good recording of the Zoom recording rather than the live recording, which can sometimes be a little bit distorted. There are a few other platforms as well that um, a couple of my other colleagues were using as well. But so far, I found this one um, has has been the um, the most user friendly for me. It is addition. It is an additional expense though. So yeah. So just reminding you again that if you're going to do Facebook Live, they can make or break your business. Make sure you have a catchy headline that talks to your ideal client. Make sure that you go live at a time that people know you're going live, so that you are drawing or letting them know well in advance that you're going live. So whether you do it through an event or whether or not you do it consistently at the same time of the day every week. For example, some coaches may choose to do Wednesday morning. I've worked with another coach who does every Friday night from six to seven. So it becomes a consistent thing that people know that they're going live and that they're adding value. But at the end of the day, you have to add value and it has to be to the benefit of the person who has to click going live and be able to watch it. The other thing you may wish to do is once you have the downloaded recording, you may actually wish to go on and get subtitles attached to your videos because a lot of people now are at work and they actually can't click into it or they don't have a headset. So you may wish to go and have subtitles added to your um, added to your video content, which I would recommend doing so that people watching can actually now read while they're watching you as well. Um, so I hope that you've gained some great value from that today. Please take advantage of the Facebook Live module that we've included as well as the checklist. Um, I hope you're enjoying the, the course so far. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out via email. I'm happy to answer them for you. Have an amazing day, guys.